of course, intercultural exchange projects, and I think all of us have experienced this, uh, especially such complex ones um, as the one described above, often bear the potential for difficulties. In the last couple of years, it has become more and more difficult to acquire visas for international artists, especially for those from the South. We often experience this with our world music projects, and there are several initiatives of stakeholders in the art sector who have gathered to voice the criticism. Time-consuming Schengen procedures often result in huge financial expenditures and great frustration uh, for the organizers and the artists involved and ultimately hamper cultural exchange and the expression of cultural diversity. Um, I just want to, to introduce you to, uh, just give you the, the websites of a few of those organizations because it's very interesting. For example, uh, www.freemuse.org um, is, uh, is working on an international basis and they've produced a so-called visa white paper and there you can read hundreds of stories uh, of what went wrong with artistic exchanges, why only half a band suddenly performed on the stage. Uh, um, in Austria, it is uh, www.abgesagt.net. <laughs> uh, but I also found something from the US, and I think it's, it's probably similar or even worse there. And it's called um, artistsfromabroad.org. Mobility is often a problem in terms of financial funding as well. And the covering of travel costs can be very difficult at times. Um, as intercultural exchange projects do not have any priority in budgetary or financial terms in many countries. The most successful projects have proven to be long-term projects. This allows for the establishing of solid partnerships and sustainable corporations. However, this is often not possible due to funding restrictions. And I just went through a paper called the Brussels Declaration, which um, the EU, EU Commission um, did together with uh, representatives of the African, Caribbean, and Pacific countries, where they voiced their uh, the political need to, to establish policies in, in all the countries for a commitment for artistic exchange programs. If there is funding, there's also the danger of instrumentalization of such projects by, for example, by politics or tourism. And it always has, is very difficult to negotiate between the interests of politics and artistic freedom. Another issue is the fact the conception, uh, that the conception of intercultural exchange projects is often based on Eurocentric um, viewpoints. I can only give you a recent example of this uh, project that I spoke before. Uh, for example, we had said, the organizers had said that we need uh, art students and art teachers from Senegal, I think, and there was one school who participated in the project, but then it turned out that this year uh, arts education was canceled in this school due to financial <laughs> reasons. And so, we're often naive and don't think about it. Say, okay, we take a partner school and they send us the arts teachers, but sometimes it just doesn't work like that and you have to take different things into account. Um, in order to, to avoid these Eurocentric viewpoints, an open, equal, and emancipated dialogue between the partners involved in the organization of cultural exchange projects is absolutely necessary. It can be very difficult at some points to create solid partnerships with reliable partners due to a lack of democratic stru structures, corruption, and other factors. Therefore, I would uh, again like to stress the importance of facilitating long-term alliances in the arts and culture sector in order to make sustainable projects happen. And of course, despite all these difficulties, there are a number of um, successful projects that prove their importance. I have just got pictures of uh, Hubert von Geusern, who is an Austrian artist who um, did a tour in, in West Africa where he met Bila Kakora and uh, Jongo System, his band, and in turn they came to Austria and did some projects together with him here. And I think this is a, a project that covers a long time period and 
a friendship has developed between those two artists and uh, they, they were performing at the World Culture Festival in Böhmischer Prater in, here in Austria and reached a very wide audience and not only the, the usual people who are already interested in inter intercultural dialogue. And yeah, yeah, I brought some other pictures, but I think that was it. <laughs> Thank you.